Hey, how's it going? It's me, Zack, and I'm playing The Hunter. It's been a very long time since I last made a Hunter video. The last video I made was, like, jeez, it was so long ago, it was probably when I just finished college, jeez. But, uh, I decided to come back. I wanted to do an update video on this game because I played it a lot, and I still do play it a lot, because they added a bunch of stuff. But every single time I'm getting ready to record it, they add more stuff. So I'm going to go in order of stuff that they added that's really like made me get back into the game and play it a lot more. And uh, I actually have something that not many other people have, which will make this extra special. So let's get straight into it. First off, uh, we'll start with, oh, I don't know, let's go with the, uh, the horn that they added. Where you at? Where you at, horn? There it is. So this horn's pretty cool. Uh, I'm a little worried that it's going to have a bit of trolling involved. But the idea is, you uh, hold it down and turn in a direction. And it will play a little melody. And it's not just for show, it's pretty much people that don't use stuff like TeamSpeak and play together, they can use this to communicate in a way. Only problem I see with it is there may be a little bit of trolling. You know what I mean, spamming. Right, so yeah, that's pretty cool. I thought that was just something nice they added, you know. They didn't have to add that, but they did anyway, so that's pretty awesome. Next up, we'll go with the spotting scope. I'm so happy they added this, because spotting is a pain in the ass at long ranges. This makes it so much easier. Uh, we'll just use it here, I guess. We'll look over at this hill. But basically, it's a scope that you use, and it doesn't look that zoomed in at first, but as you zoom it, it's further and further and further. It's got pretty good zoom, and it's really good for spotting animals. You just put the cursor on it and give it a second, and it spots it way more reliable than these binoculars here. So that's another nice thing they added that they didn't have to add. So uh, good on you. K keep adding stuff like this, please. I like these small things, but also obviously focus on bigger things. Right, I mentioned earlier there was something that I have that not a lot of people have, so let's look at that now. This, the Almost Dev Jacket. Now if you're wondering what this is, this was given out to people that designed contests and missions for the game. Uh, I entered the competition for making a contest for an animal, and I made a contest pack for Sitka Deer. Sitka Deer, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. And I won it. I don't know when that's getting added to the game, but when it is added to the game, I'll probably make a video of me doing the contest that I made, which would be awesome, and I'm pretty excited for that. But apart from that, uh, I don't know how many people have these. Not a lot. So, yeah, I have been looking online, and I haven't seen any videos of other people with them. I may have missed those videos, but there you go. That's the almost dev jacket. It looks really sick. I like it a lot, and I pretty much wear it all the time. Right, next up, something they just added, like, the other week, a new bow. Uh, it's a pretty cool bow, where are you at? Where are you at? Here we go. Here's the new bow they added. Uh, I forgot what it's called, let's find out. I'll just show you the reload there. So yeah, this is the first bow I've seen that has basically a clip, I guess. We're going to go over to this firing range real quick. I think I just heard an elk. I did hear an elk. 
Too bad, Elk. So sad. We're gonna go try out this bow real quick. It also has a sight, which I will put on and show you. But first, we're gonna try it out with it. Uh, try it without it. So it's got three pins. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on the ranges. Obviously, here I've used the green pin. But uh, with this sight, this thing's really nice. I've only hunted with it a few times. That's a good shot there. And as you can see, it, it, you take them from the side of the bow. The arrows, that is. So here's the sight we're going to put on. This turns it into a 5 pin sight. And once you get used to practicing with it here, you know, it, it's a really good bow after you practice a bit with it. Uh, I'm going to be using this because we're going to go hunt some elk in a minute. But before we hunt the elk, there's one other thing I have to show you. Mm. So uh, let's check that now. But before I show you that, the name of this bow, the Pulsar. There you go. So last thing off the top of my head. New dog. It's the scent hound. We go to our scent hound. I've got the founder collar. You can also put that on it, but I'm not going to put the vest on it just because I want to show you the, uh, you know, what the dog looks like. Here's the scent hound. I really like the uh, design, and I also like how, um, you know, it when you're hunting with it. The Labrador was like running around all over the place and going crazy. I noticed from when I first went into the hunt that the scent hound kind of acted a little different. It wasn't as all over the place. I may be wrong. I only saw that once, but uh, yeah. So here's the scent hound. This is a female with the light skin. There's also a dark uh, version. Decided to get a female with light skin because I have a chocolate Labrador retriever that's a male with dark fur. Uh, another thing they changed is your dog gets highlighted when you hold V. Thank God, I now know where my dog is. And uh, I noticed it says track blood, so I'm assuming it's for tracking after you wound an animal. Which is alright, but when I one shot, you know. I don't know if you'll unlock more stuff for the dog to do after that, but you know, it's pretty cool anyways. I have not hunted with it yet, that's what we're about to do now. You've also got your basic commands, like come here. Tell your dog to come. Obviously this is a level 0 dog. So this is going to be a bit... <laughs> Here she comes. It's good to see there's like different walking animations compared to the Labradors. Or the Retrievers even. We got the Stay. Oh, she yawned. We got the Sit. She's making noises with the lay down, which is the same as stay, I guess. Yeah. And get in and out of blind, which, you know, won't matter. Alright, so we're gonna go hunt some elk, because that is the mission that we have to do for this, uh, for the retrievers. And by the looks of it, <laughs> there's actually a female really close. So already I'm super happy because this is a level 0 retrie- uh, sorry, I keep getting retrievers and uh, scent hounds mixed up. Level 0 scent hound, and as you can see, it's already creeping around, keeping quiet. Which is, and it's good to see, because my chocolate lab did not want to creep around on the ground when I got him. So here's the uh, spotting scope being used. Normally that would be pretty difficult to spot the actual elk, but uh, with the scope it just makes it so much easier. And it's a lot easier to pick individual ones as well. As you can see there's a few females here, but uh, with the scope I can zoom in to specific ones, rather than it just spotting random ones for me. Yeah. One of the main differences between the spotting scope and obviously these binoculars 
is these don't have range. Ah, the spotting scope doesn't have a range finder, which is fine. Like I think that's fine because that means I can use this for range finding and use the uh, spotting scope for spotting. Now this elk is at 30 meters. Dropped. Very quiet bow as well, I've noticed. Which is awesome. I do want to injure one of these and let it run, because the scent hound is supposed to follow the blood trails. And I'd love to show that. That being said, I don't want to give it a really shitty shot. So we're going to go for another long shot here. I know 30 meters isn't that far, but... We won't aim straight for the lungs and heart this time. There we go, just behind. And they're all scattered. Cool. So we're going to collect this elk, and then we're going to try out the scent hound. Right. So right here we have intestines, body shot, track blood. Never done this before. Let's see how it goes. Oh, he's all. Where you off to? This is actually perfect for when you get those tracks that just like a fleeing animal. They just keep going all over the place. Now the question is, does the scent hound go straight to the dead animal? If that is true, and it does, I'm very happy. <laughs> If it goes between tracks, uh, that's all right as well. That's probably that's what I expect. But it would be great if it went straight to the animal. So it's obviously it's off. It's off. She's off. Okay, she's she's running between the tracks. I think she's stopped. What's up? You've lost it. Okay, so this is obviously where the leveling up would come in. If you level uh, your dog up a lot, it's going to go a lot better. Yeah, so it looks like she lost the track right here. Track that. Okay. Uh, I think they might be doing some stuff to the servers because I'm playing in single player right now. Okay, it looks like we're alright. <laughs> Maybe that was a problem. Maybe there's a bug with the uh, scent hounds. I don't know. That was very worrying. But uh, let's hope that uh, it, it stays up. She's on to something. Fleeing tracks. I see movement straight ahead. Yeah, it's a deer. It's gone. This looks like it was a little white tail or a black tail. Female. Doesn't matter. We're more interested in the scent hound at the moment. Oh, she's off again. I am liking this. There is one problem I can see for this. Uh, this is going to be great for veteran hunters. Uh, after the Ascent Hounds are leveled up and stuff. But this is really going to suck if uh, new players just jump straight in and get Ascent Hound and just rely on it. The problem with that is they're not going to level up their tracking. Because they're going to be ignoring these bubbles. Like for me, I've tracked Elk so much. Like... It's ridiculous, I don't need to touch these bubbles. Looks like there's a female to my left, but we're going to ignore that. My, oh, stamina level 2. So if you're wondering what I called my dog, her name's Milo. Uh, because that is a great name for a pet. 
This is also going to be perfect for when you're doing a contest that's like, you know, take an animal out at the maximum range or something. A good example is um, when there was a contest for longest range on a wild boar uh, with a handgun with no scope. Uh, I was looking at the leaderboards. I hit uh, a wild boar at a crazy range because I was just testing out with the revolver, like how I could get the drop. And if that boar died, I would have won the contest. Like, if I could find that boar. But I lost the boar. I, I could not find its tracks. This was such a long time ago. And that was just, you know, that sucked. I wish, if this dog was around then, then maybe <laughs> I could have tracked it down. But um, unfortunately, we don't have that. No, we didn't have that, but now we do, which is awesome. These are recent... I'm surprised. I think they learnt from the Labrador Retrievers. Oh, there she is. Uh, from the Retrievers uh, beta and stuff. Oh, she's barking. Good work. You found her, and we're going to put her out of her misery straight away. Because that is... Yeah, there we go. So that's awesome. I'm really happy with the uh, scent hounds. Uh, we are going to continue to hunt because I need to find a male for the mission. A male elk, that is. So yeah, first shot was intestines. Intentionally didn't drop it. Uh, this will, These guys will also be great for, like, maybe if you're doing long-range bow hunting or just long-range shooting in general where you just miss a kill shot. Or even when you do hit lungs and they run. It's going to be perfect on um, Logger's Point because the amount of times... Oh wow, that's my hundredth elk. Um, the amount of times that we um, hunt deer there, and we just lose track of them because of the trees and all that. Like, and their tracks just loop over each other is ridiculous. And this is going to be perfect for dealing with that. So, um, yeah, let's cut to me taking down a male. Right. So my game crashed while I was out hunting an elk. It is a bit buggy at the moment because it was just a game update. But um. It's kind of a good thing because there was something else I needed to show that I completely forgot about. And that's this new rifle right here. I clicked the wrong button there. Uh, this thing is a beast. And this is for hunting bison pretty much. Uh, the iron sight, I love what they did because they, you wouldn't be able to see anything if they didn't fade out this little bit at the front here. That's poking up. I really like how it's a pretty much just a cross. Uh, it kind of makes me want to iron sight with it a lot. But uh, it also has a scope, which we will put on right now. Oh, by the way, I have two scopes. Yeah, I accidentally bought two of the rifle and the scope. Because the servers were laggy when I was trying to buy them. So thanks for that. Mm, I really appreciate it. Here's the scope. Uh, it's kind of like the muzzleloader scopes. It's a pretty. It's got pretty decent zoom. And uh, I tested this out a little while ago. It seemed to have pretty good range. So uh, we're going to go and hunt down that elk. My mission was supposed to be completed with the first one because it turns out it doesn't have to be a male elk. But uh, I would like to use this rifle on an elk. We're going to take our scent hound with us as well, just in case we don't get an insta drop. But uh, I think we will. If we don't, then good, I get to level up my dog. One other thing I should probably take with me that everyone should take with them, if they have a dog. Dog treats. Be nice to your dog. Right, so, I've located a male elk. Uh, just spotted it. Well, I haven't even spotted it yet, I'm about to spot it now. Once again, this scope is awesome, because I wouldn't be able to spot it with the dots from there. I was planning to go to the tower, but I could just shoot this guy now. So uh, we're going to test out this rifle. I've used it before. I think I used it once on a bison. This thing should be powerful enough to just drop that out straight up. I want to get a more clear shot because it is in the middle of the river at the moment. But uh, hopefully we can take him out with relative ease. I haven't leveled this up much. I haven't taken down many animals. So I'm going to have a little bit of sway. 
Let's just get a little closer. So something that's really helpful, that white outline, I can see my dog over there. It's a good way to check to see if he's coming up behind me, in case he might spook an animal. I noticed with the uh, chocolate labs there was a big problem. We can drop him here if we want to. We got a clear shot. Boom! This thing is loud. Alright. Dog running instantly. I don't know if that's when I stood up or when I shot, but uh, he just got up and came over, which is, I guess that's nice. As long as it's only with guns and not with bows. Right. Let's go uh, pick up this mail. Wasn't a big male, very small male, but uh, it's a male. Better than only killing females this hunt. Nice open area as well. Here's our elk. Alright, let's take our first trophy shot with our new dog. 70 meters, you know, just ripped straight through. Super powerful. Got the achievement. I guess that means that's my first harvest. I could have sworn I shot this before. That being said, servers have been crashing a lot, so maybe it hasn't updated properly. Alright, and can we drag the dog? Yes we can, thank goodness. Okay, that's those are physics. Alright. And that is a nice photo. <laughs> I'm very happy with that. Right, that's it for this video. Unfortunately, the missions aren't working 100% at the moment because of the update that just came out. So the elk hunt isn't really working. Uh, but uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoy these kind of videos, then you know, leave a comment. Like the video if you want. Share the video if you want. It all helps me shitloads. So uh, have a good one.